Okay. So, we're going to talk about negotiations. So, how many of you guys have can remember negotiating? First of all, what is negotiating? Okay, does anyone want to try to tell me? What is negotiating? Making less, not making good price. Negotiating? Like getting a good price yeah. for something, right? Okay. That's an example. But negotiating is, so, so that's, that's the ob objective, right? Sometimes when you're buying something, the objective of negotiating, right, is to get a good price, yeah. right? So negotiate, in my opinion, <laughs> it means like compare ideas and make one decision. So to find a good, to get to, to one. Get one Right, one thing. Right, so 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 to get to one spot or to conclude something, right? Okay. Obviously, it's like the end of the negotiation is a, a conversation between two people or several mm -hmm. coming um, trying to come up with a, with an agreement. Okay. Akio-san, do you have anything to add to that? Negotiation. Yeah. So, in your in your opinion, what is a negotiation? To convince somebody. Yeah, that's also part of it, right? Convincing someone, getting it. If you convince someone, you can convince them to give you a good price. When you convince someone to like sell you something at a good price, that's a common conclusion. And that also means that you guys are in agreement, right? So it's all of those things. So, you know, negotiating, right? Negotiations. Really what it is is, Striking a deal, a deal, or an agreement. Striking a deal or an agreement. Striking basically means coming to a deal, right? a conclu concluding to a deal. So there's a lot of different types of, there's a lot, of, so there's different types of negotiations. Right? There's different types of negotiations. Let's explore some of them. Okay, we're gonna go one by one. So the first type of negotiation is competitive. Right? When you are competitive, right? It's like you are competing. It's like you're in a competition, right? So what do you think are the features of a competitive negotiation? What is an example of a competitive ne negotiation? Think about it. What's an example? Anybody? Example? Yeah. Mm. Or, 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 or what do you think, how would you describe a competitive negotiation? How would you describe that? Sorry? That for something. I can I can compare. Uh, I can make this uh, exam for between Apple and Samsung. Oh, between like Apple yeah, and selling, yeah, selling phones. Oh, so selling so selling phones. Okay, so what you're saying is like if you're, so basically if you're saying it's like if you're going to the Apple store, right, and you're saying that, well, I don't know if I really want to buy an iPhone because I can buy a Samsung Galaxy, right? So that's when you're seeing that because there are competitors, right? You can have a competitive negotiation. But what is but what is that? Do, would you say that that's a a passive strategy or would you say that's an aggressive strategy? Aggressive. aggressive. That's aggressive, right? Cuz you're immediately saying that hey, listen. Um, if you're if if you're going to charge me $300 for this iPhone, I'm just going to spend 180 for this Samsung Galaxy. It's a better phone. I, I have all the features that an iPhone has. There's more charge, all this stuff, right? So that's a competitive. What is it? This is it's aggressive, right? Immediately, immediately you're saying that I have alternatives, right? We have alternatives. I don't know what could could it be also competitive? Like when, an example, like TNT and Verizon. Yeah. They buy, um, they, they negotiate with Apple to buy the products. Would that be a competitive negotiation? 
Yeah. If they bought, they bought, they bought AT&T <coughs> and Verizon, they're buying, they're two different companies, which is telecommunication, trying to buy I iPhones from, um, for, from, uh, I from so Apple. So here's the thing, right? Who would be who would be the competitive negotiator? Would it be Apple or would it be Verizon and AT and T? What do you think? Verizon and AT and T. Are you sure? Think about it. Well, no, no, no. It would be Apple because they they're getting different. Listen, think about it this way. To be a competitor, right? To be a competitive negotiation, what do you need? Power, right? What gives you power? Because I, why can you be aggressive? Because you have alternatives, right? Apple, think about it. In that situation, Apple has the power, right? Because their deal is this, that if Verizon sells an iPhone or an iPad, they're saying that we'll give you 10% of our profit. Each phone that we sell, we'll give you 10% of the money, right? But then Apple can say, well, AT&T said they're going to give me 12%. So why should I go with you? Why should I have an agreement with you? I should go with AT&T. AT&T is going to give me more money. Right? So in that situation, in that situation, Apple is the competitive negotiator. Right? They're the ones who... This is competitive as a strategy. This is a negotiation strategy. Right? They're the ones who can say, because I have options. We have alternatives. An alternative is an option. I can go to T-Mobile, I can go to Verizon, I can go to AT&T. So who's going to give me the most money? He is the one who's controlling everything, right? So that's a, that's a really good example, actually, of a situation where one side, right, is being the competitive negotiator, right? Competitive negotiations are very aggressive. You immediately come and you say, listen, this is what the market is offering me, 12%. Either you give me more money or I'm just going to say bye. I'm going to go to business with them. Right? Very, very aggressive because you have alternatives. Right? So this is one example. Now, let's look at another example. Okay? Avoidance. Right? What is avoidance? When you avoid something, what are you doing? Minsu and Akiyosan. When you are avoiding something, what are you doing? Avoid is, avoid, bar, bar means avoid. Avoid, right? So w when you are avoiding something, avoidance is the act of avoiding something. But w when you avoid something, you are showing avoidance. Right? So avoidance is a negotiation strategy. So what do you think is happening? In the, so over here, we explained it, right? You come in and you're saying, this is the price. This is how much I want it for. But when you're avoiding, what are you doing? Think about it. Passive. Passive, right? Exactly. And, and not even passive. You know what you're doing? You're saying, we're not going to negotiate. You're just saying, hey, listen. Non-negotiations. I know it sounds crazy, but this is a strategy, right, to say, you know, we're, we're not going to negotiate. You know, we, okay, fine. If you want 12%, we'll give you 12%. Right? We'll, 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 we'll give you 12%. <coughs> and so, it's really like not negotiating. And, and when is a situation where you might avoid negotiations? Think about it. Think of a situation where you would just avoid negotiating. Like, if you have the option. But think about it, Shin, if you have the advantage, right, why would you avoid negotiating? And I mean, I'm pretty sure that they will say something that you want, like, I mean, so, what so you I have, right. if even I will avoid it, they will suggest, suggest, I mean, so. So, so what you're saying is that they will offer you something? Yeah, yeah, so. If I avoid it, then they will give me more money. That's that's not avoidance. That's interesting. I don't think that's avoidance. I think that's a very um, that's actually a form of competitive negotiating. And that's not, I know it sounds crazy because think about it this way: Why would 
the people you're negotiating with, why would they offer you something if you didn't have power, right? It's because they're afraid, right? They, they don't want you to go to competitors. They immediately want to say, hey, listen, here's like this gift. Uh, we really want to keep your business. Um, you know, like, like let's, let's really just, let, let's, I don't think you even have to look at the competitors, right? So I, I know it sounds kind of strange, right? But that's actually more an example of competitive. That's kind of like a hybrid. That's a mix of, that's a very specific situation. But I want you to think about it from the perspective of someone who wants to avoid a negotiation. Why would you want to avoid a negotiation? Mm -hmm. You said the opposite of he has no power, he's not important enough, or he has no power. Right. So, so that's, that's, that's an important part, right? So it's kind of like, it's kind of like we can almost say lack of power. And why might you not have power, right? Think about it. Why, why might you not have power? What do you mean, Akio-san and uh, Minsu? What, what, what's a situation where, where, you, where you don't have any power? You just want to avoid negotiations because, you know, it's like you have no choice. Think of the situation. you need exactly that one or something like Yes. You need to think about it, right? They're the only people. Apple is the only company with an iPhone. And everybody wants an iPhone. Right? So you're in a problematic situation. This is a problem, isn't it? It's not like anyone else who creates iPhones. They're the, they're the only company, right? So we just want to avoid it. Right? We, we don't really, you don't have no choices, right? This is kind of easy because <coughs> avoidance is basically the opposite of a competitive situation, right? You're saying that, listen, for whatever reason, it could be time. I need this tomorrow. I don't have time to negotiate. Right? So time is also a part of choices, right? You're the only one that creates that jacket, and I need it for my stores because it's really fashionable. People really want to buy it, right? Right, Pedro? Mm -hmm. I don't have a choice. I have to buy it. It makes sense, right? So these are situations where if you're and you have to think about your goal. And we're going to talk about goals as well when you're planning for a negotiation. But if your end goal is that I just need this product or I need it on this date, that really limits your choices. Like limit to limit something is to reduce, right? It limits your choices. You say, I don't have a choice. So I'm going to avoid. Okay? So there's there's, there's two more. Okay, so we talked about competitive. And I want you guys to use it. You guys can take notes or you guys can just kind of keep it in your head, right? But these are all just, the reason why I'm going through the types of negotiations is because I want you guys to be able to identify situations, okay? Third one, this is compromise. Right? Compromise is something, the first example that you said Right? Mm -hmm. If one side, if Apple has an agreement, if Apple has an agreement with AT&T, and if AT&T, let's say they have a two-year exclusive agreement that AT&T, and this was the case in 2007, I think when did the first iPhone come out? I think 2006 or 2007, I think it was like, like then, right? Mm -hmm. AT&T in America was the first company to get exclusive rights. Do you understand the word exclusive? Yeah. That's right, they're the only ones, right, that can sell the iPhone. So let's say two years are coming up, right? And, they, and, and what do you think AT&T wants? What do you think AT&T, so AT&T, do you think they want to keep that relationship? Yeah. Yeah. Right? Because it's terrible for them if everyone starts selling. Because AT&T, you know, they're not the best network, right? Verizon is the highest rated network, right? Well, what's the best network in Japan? Is it SoftBank? Is it? Dokomo. I think Dokomo. Dokomo, right? Yeah. So it's kind of like, imagine if SoftBank got the